A violent storm has been battering the clipper around the World Yacht Race fleet as it heads through the Indian Ocean from South Africa. Winds in excess of 50 knots have been experienced by some of the crews along with hurricane force gusts. One Australian crew member was caught by a wave on the bow which resulted in a punctured calf. I had my back to the bow and I was down on probably a knee and a foot and one foot and uh, one wave broke over uh, and it sort of knocked me down so I, my leg was flat and then pushed me up. I, I thought about it a bit, I think it pushed me up against the, uh, the cleat and then a much heavier wave came over and break over me just so you can square in the back. You know, it was a bit of a uh, bit of a surprise when it happened. Um, yet uh, you know Dave did exactly the right thing, he realised something was wrong, came to the back came to the back and uh, did a quick assessment on deck and got him downstairs and uh, got him undressed and cloud covered with the wind. And um, you know, I think uh, we we took all, all the necessary steps um, in order to, to make sure he's as safe as he can be. And then um, in terms of the boat you know we're uh, we're in pretty uh, pretty rough conditions and have been overnight. Some pretty big waves. We've seen 50, 60 knots of uh, true wind speed, uh, which is sort of the uh, best best part of course 12. And um, you know the uh, sea state is pretty rough as well. And um, you know, I think we're all coping really well with it. It's uh, really impressive. The crews are expected to arrive in Western Australia towards the end of the month, with the event ending back in London in July next year.